Good everyone, uh, thanks for tuning in again. So, a little bit about the shoot that you're going to see now. So, it's a new permission. I've been twice before in the daytime, but with the way the land is and stuff, sometimes you're right on top of the rabbits and you just can't get to them. Um, they see you miles away and they're just scarper. So, I've had no success on a daytime as yet. So, I thought, right, I'll give it a shot after work one night. Went across and absolute game changer. Night time, the place is absolutely alive with rabbits, just absolutely everywhere. So on this particular show, I just parked up on the permission owner's driveway, quite literally unloaded my gear, set the tripod up on the side of her driveway and just started shooting. Um, I don't think I went more than maybe 50 meters from where I parked, couldn't have asked for anything better. Rabbits everywhere, as you'll see from the video. So the gear I was using was a 17 HMR. It's quite an old one. It's a CZ452 American, really, really old gun, proper cheap. It's the cheapest gun I've got in my collection by an absolute mile, but it's such a good hunting caliber. I really can't recommend the 17 HMR enough, absolutely spot on. Combine that with the Wolf scope, which is day vision, night vision. I'll get into that in a little bit. Also sat on top of the bog death grip tripod, absolutely perfect combination. I was getting kills out to, from say 40 to maybe about 150, 160 yards, really, really easily. A lot of nice head shots. A couple of, a couple of body shots, I think one of them might have got it in its back. It kind of crawled away. Uh, it's probably dead somewhere else shortly afterwards anyway. So the kill total for the night was 17. Really, really good night shooting. And I did that in just over an hour. I couldn't have asked for anything better. Um, a little bit about the Wolf. So this is the scope. Absolutely fantastic scope. Really, really good. Problem I get on the end cap here, you've got a day vision mode where you need this cap on and you're supposed to take it off on a night. And me, because I'm a thick get most of the time, I end up leaving it on, forgetting about it. And I did that on this particular night shoot. So the images aren't as clear as they should be. I'm going to have to give myself a kick up the arse if I do that again, because it's an absolute schoolboy error. Hopefully I won't do it again. Anyway, that's enough me talking shite. I'll, uh, I'll let you get into the action. Hopefully you enjoy watching the video as much as I enjoyed making it because I had an absolute brilliant night. Can't wait to do it again. Hopefully I'll be doing it again in the next next 10 days at least. Many thanks. Cheers, guys.
fellas. That's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'd just like to give a little shout out to all my subscribers because the channel's growing slowly. I've noticed we've, we've had quite a few new subscribers over the past week or two. So massive thumbs up to you all. Really appreciate it. Hopefully the channel continues to grow and I can invest in more gear, stuff like that. Nicer bits of kit. Hopefully improve the videos. Anyway, thanks a lot, fellas. See you later.